Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a simple decoration box that my wife wants to put on our table because we just built that shiplap wall and she wants to make it look pretty. So I'm gonna make two of them actually. I have a bunch of like two by material that I found at in the junk pile at a construction site near us. So I'm gonna use these two by material and then I also have, <clears throat> I have some oak that is just lying around. I'm gonna make that some nice oak too. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing is this, the material I got from the junk pile, it has, so you can see that, it has some nails in it. So we gotta get the nails out. I'm guessing these boards are used for concrete forms because there's concrete all over them. So I think I'm gonna take some sandpaper and sand them down real quick so I'm not cutting through the concrete residue. So now that I got all the concrete and dirt off these, it will be easier to cut through my, my table saw. I'm gonna rip all the boards down to two and a half inches. So let's go do that. So I'm gonna set my fence up at two and a half inches. I always check to see if my fence is square. Now I'm going to check to make sure this is square, and then I'm going to square the edges on this one. I'm going to square an edge on every board. Now, I'm going to mark all the boards with the same My wife wants to put mason jars in this little thing. So I want the width of this to be a little bit bigger than mason jar. I'm thinking whatever that is, let's just do five and a half inches. I set up a stop so that I can cut all these blocks to the same length. Now we put the boards together. We put some glue on each end and then nail them together. All right, so I decided to go against the bottom because I just didn't cut it very well. But I should have cut a bigger groove and it would have worked out better. But we're, it's just, it doesn't need a bottom. And maybe I'll add a bottom later. But now I'm just gonna do a light sanding on it and then I think we're gonna paint them. So we're gonna do what I guess is called a whitewash. We did three 
to one ratio of water paint. So I did three spoonfuls of water to one spoonful of paint. And then I just mixed it in this cup. I thought white washes were for snow. But... That is the thing that you do with the <laughs> snow. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a really simple project. It'll be a great gift for Valentine's Day, which is coming up, or just any other kind of day. Anyway, subscribe if you're not. We'll see you in the next video.